All right. As you can see, I've got uh, I've got our material in the bender here, and I've got it lined up on the uh, the first bend line, right where we need. This is the most important part here when you're when you're doing bending in multiple planes. Is you have to um, somehow. I've got this little clamp. I don't I don't even remember where I bought this from. And so if somebody's viewing this video at some point and knows who whose this is it's not stamped or anything but anyways it's just a rotation gauge or rotation clamp i should say and so you clamp it on the end of the tube and then i've got a gem red digital protractor and so it you clamp it on here get this clamped on and then set it at zero all right there we are so now that this is clamped on here this digital protractor is clamped on here we know where zero is at um, and so as we rotate this tube then according to the bend recipe that bentec spits us out um, we'll uh, we'll know which angle to stop at if that makes sense so let me uh let me uh bend this real quick and then we'll rotate and we'll, we'll go over that in a second. Bend that to 44 degrees, and that's according to my bend recipe. So I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna move it, and I'm gonna come to the next uh, next bend line. So all I've done so far is let me. All I've done so far is basically move the bender to the next bend line, which is right there. I've got it lined up on with the edge of my die, and I have not rotated it yet. As you can see, this is still relatively at zero. Um, it probably changed a little bit because I was, you know, moving it to the next uh, bend mark. But, so, now, as you can see, let me get this, as you can see here, I've done this. I've, I just bend it to 44 degrees, and so now I've moved it to my next bend location, which is 18 and 9 16 and I'm going to rotate the material negative 90 degrees in the bender. Negative 90 degrees, so that is counterclockwise. And then I'm going to set my spring angle at 93 degrees and make my next bend. So let's do the rotation first. Negative 90 degrees, counterclockwise. rotated it negative 90 counterclockwise I'm on my bend mark and I need to bend this to 93 degrees so here we go
Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to bring it down to the next bend line. Okay, as you can see, I've just moved it to the next bend line, but I have not rotated it yet. It's basically still at negative 90 degrees. You can see our our uh, protractor, whoops, sorry. You can see our protractor is still at 90 degrees. So, we need to, I need to stop moving this freaking camera. Um, I need to go negative 44 degrees. And so negative 44 is, we'll call it half of negative 90. And so I've got to rotate our tube in the die clockwise 46 degrees, basically. So... My protractor is going to say 44 degrees when I'm done, if that makes sense. So I need to go to negative 44, and since we're already at negative 90, we're going to go counter, we're going to go clockwise back up to negative 44. Negative 44, everything looks good. So now we're gonna bend it to 25 degrees. This is the start of our tube, and I don't know how well you can see that, but I still got my, my five inches of extra tube here that we added to the design for, you know, the bender. Um, so now all I have to do is just cut that little strip off, and then that is one tube of, uh, what is it? It's the driver's side uh, engine cage. Main hoop. So um, I'm going to cut this off and we'll be done with this.